Um, if you're on NVIDIA, if you're not on NVIDIA, if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU, it's going to be the same concept, but you'll have to like figure out how to do this in Adrenaline. But if you are on an NVIDIA, you want to close the game. Obviously, you don't want the game running, but right click on your NVIDIA app, go to control panel. And then you want to find manage 3D settings. Usually that's the default tab, but if not, just go to the second one down and then find shader cache size. You want to hit the drop down and choose disabled. And as soon as you hit that, the, the window will flicker a little bit and then hit OK. Close that out. And then in Windows Explorer, on your C drive, go to your user folder, whatever your username is. And if you don't see uh, the app data folder, you want to uh, unhide hidden folders. But then to go to app data, local, NVIDIA, and then find the DX cache. And then you want to delete everything in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll probably have anywhere from like four to 10 files that say that they're in use and can't be deleted. As long as the two big files get deleted, you should be good. But if that bothers you, reboot your computer and then try to delete them again. Once you're done, go ahead and reboot anyway, and then go back into the control panel app. And then go back to the shader cache. And then you want to either at, at, at bare minimum, set it to driver default. If you've got some free space on your C drive, personally, I would recommend 10 gig because it's going to apply to all your games. Uh, but if you got the overhead, you know, set it to a hundred and then hit apply, restart your game, let it sit at the title screen and then, uh, do it shader caching like normal, load into game. And you may want to travel like from the fade fields to Carcadia and then the Terminus. But after that, you should be good. My game was running like Unless hot doo-doo yesterday. And that got me sorted out and we're back over the hundreds in frame rate. 